In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 3 from experience 2. Here is a data set. The goal is to construct a grouped frequency distribution table for this data set. The GFDT should have 10 classes with a nice class width. Each class should contain its lower class limit and the lower class limits should all be multiples of the class width. The problem is to determine what the class width and first lower class limit should be. So the way I like to start these problems is to find the range and that is found by taking the largest number and subtracting the smallest number. Find the largest number is 536 and subtract the smallest number which is 345. Now we want to have 10 classes, so if we take that full distance there and divide by 10 and then round up to say 20, we could have a nice class width of 20. So we always want to round up when we do that division. So we took the full range, we divided by the number of classes, and then we rounded up. Now the first lower class limit should be a multiple of the class width. So we also want to include that smallest number. The smallest number is 345. So we obviously have to start lower than that. So you say, well, could we start at 345 or 344? All right, so here the idea is that to use nice round numbers, multiples of 20, we wouldn't start at 345 or 344, we would start at 340. So 340, that's the largest multiple of 20, that's still less than that first lowest number, 345. All right, so find the smallest number, and then look for numbers that are smaller than that, that are multiples of the class width and find the greatest number that meets those characteristics.